Hey guys, how's it going? Just been to Box Hill. Well done, mate. Um, so just been to Box Hill already, I'm behind. With Little G and Crazy Mook. Just picked up his new bike. Ducati 899, lucky bastard. And I've got Mrs. Rampant Rider on the back. Or Miss Rampant Rider. And as you know, I know she gets fussy about these things. I've got to get past him. Oh my god, what are you doing? Perhaps you want to get much fucking way. It's like Mark Marquez. There we go, back with the group. <laughs> so I just had breakfast. It was lovely, thank you. How do you say it? Why do these cats all have funny names? Is it, is it Rikus Cafe or Rikus? I don't know. It's Calf. Uh, lovely full English at one o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. That's how you, how you have to have it. Whoa, potholes galore. I'm just dreading for a car to come the other way. Oh, like that one. Puddle. Garden centre. Oh, I do love a good garden centre. Full of plants and shit. I tell you what, we haven't had a good rant in a while and I, I've been thinking about this one and I've been quite good to talk about but I refer it to as uh, television on the Saturday night. Saturday night shit. I've watched them all, I've seen them all, X Factor, Voice, Britain's Got Talent. Strictly come dancing, all this fucking shit TV, goggle box. I mean, what the fuck, man? Society has got to a point where we find people watching other people watching telly entertaining. It's just shit. Like that, these companies like ITV make fuck loads out of money because of dickheads watching X Factor, and it's shit anyway. Like. I'm in the music industry and it's an it's an offence to the music industry. Like programmes like X Factor and all all things off like the Simon Cowell production company, Psycho, is ripping apart the industry of its natural form, natural talent, natural music. And it, you, you just get mass produced with shit like just shit. Ugh. I, I keep seeing that oh X Factor, the views are going down. You know, they're thinking about taking a break. Fucking well good, man. Then we can put some decent stuff on, like Game of Thrones on a Saturday night and The Musketeers. I want The Musketeers back because that was good. And yeah, I'm just, I'm fed up with Saturday night shit. It's all outdated. It's all 90, it's all spurred off the 90s and it's carrying on. It's been going on now. And I'm just getting sick and tired of it. I don't even watch TV anymore. I'm always on Netflix. Um, now TV and it's now got to the point where everyone has to pay a fucking premium like Sky like Netflix like Now TV where they're Sky anyway and you have to pay a premium price to watch fucking decent telly I mean don't get me started with BT Sport so I'm just fed up with Saturday night shit good I got my wallet I had a slight feeling I didn't have it then Seven, number seven, is the lucky number. Right, so, yeah. Just fed up of Saturday night shit, basically. And the thing is, once that factor flows, they've bought the voice anyway, so they're still going to be making fuckloads of money. So rant over. I like how it was all, oh yeah, next time you have to come up our way, there's so many nice roads. <laughs> so apparently we're going back to Brighton. Uh, yeah, we're following Little G. It's like small, middle, big. Small, medium, large in CC. Oh, here we go. What's up, bitch? Yeah, you can learn to cook properly, love. <laughs> All I can hear is a fucking V-twin behind me. Boom, boom, boom. 
<laughs> Fucking hell, three high boosters in a row. Jesus. Made me sick. <laughs> Perfect city Ryan and Mike. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs>